So we've looked at the use of 4 to repeat things by counting, so for n equals 1 to 10 for example, but you can also use 4 to repeat by looping or iterating through a collection of things. So the most common collections of things that you're likely to encounter are arrays, and but also strings, because strings are collections of characters. So let's have a look at an array first. So I've got a, um, a string array, and I've got it to contain uh, the phonetic alphabet. So this is the alphabet used by the police and pilots to spell things out. You might have also used that um, when you're spelling out your name over the phone, for example, to avoid any confusion. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loop through and show every item in that list. So I might do something for, uh, like this, so I might do four. Um, so I'm going to need a, uh, a loop counter. Well, it was a counter when we last time we used four, but it's not really a counter this time, is it? So what this is is a, a variable which is going to come become each item in the um, array in turn. So actually I need the each uh, keyword in there. So for each letter in alphabet, uh, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to say console dot uh, right line, and then I'm just going to say uh, letter. So letter is um, a variable name, and it becomes each thing in the string. So it's going to print Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, etc. So if I run that, what we should see is just a, a lint list printed uh, vertically. So everything in my array there. We can also do a similar thing with um, text. So if I asked um, somebody what their name was, for example, so I'm going to say console dot uh, write. So what is your name? And then what we're going to do is I'm going to say dim name as string. And then we're going to ask them what their, uh, so we've asked them what the name is. We'll display the text. We're actually going to ask the question. So console dot read line. Uh, and then we've got our name, haven't we? So this time uh, we could say for each letter in, let's just change that to name. So this time name is a string rather than an array. So if I run this now, let's see what happens. So it's asking me my name. I'm going to say Andrew. And what it does is it loops or iterates through that string a letter at a time. And letter, the variable, becomes A, then N, then D, then R, then E, then W. So that's a nice way to loop through things like strings or arrays without having to worry about how many items there are or how long the string is. Um, it also means we can do things like this. So imagine we wanted to take that name and spell it out uh, using the phonetic alphabet. So what I'm going to say is, just make it easier, I'm going to convert each um, letter, well I'll, I'll convert the whole name into uppercase. So now letter I know is going to be uppercase, so what if I take that letter and I subtract, uh, in fact if I take, the, if I um, if I find the ASCII value of that letter, so that will give me a, a number, so a capital A give me 65, so I've converted it all to capitals, uppercase, um, so 65 will be A. Uh, what I want though is for that to be 0, so it represents the first item in the array. So if I take 65 away from that, then A will be 0, B will be 1, C will be 2, etc. Have a look at the text manipulation video if you're not quite sure uh, what's happening there, and then I'm going to use that value that I've just calculated as uh, an index uh, to string, so uh, index to the string array, and that's called alphabet. So I need an extra bracket um, there. And now if I run that, what it should do, it should take my name, uh, or whatever text I enter, and spell it out for me in the phonetic alphabet. So let's just run that and see what happens. So it's going to say, what's my name? My name's Andrew, and it's going to spell it out, Alpha November Delta Romeo Echo Whiskey. So that's a combination of using four and using um, ASCII codes and using strings. F f so I can use four each to pick out each letter in the name and turn it into something else by looking it up in the alphabet array. So that's four each, letting the variable become each value in an array 
or a string in turn, and then we can process that um, separately.